In this video, I'm going to be explaining Backrooms level 189, aka the bathrooms. And I'll be answering the question of why you should never, under any circumstance, use the bathroom in the backrooms, no matter how bad you have to go. Seriously. All right, let's get into the explanation, shall we? So the 189th level inside of the backrooms has been given a classification of class 2 and is unsafe but kind of secure with a very low entity count at the start when this level was discovered actually but what is known is that a ton of people have entered this level at least one time by complete accident and you'll learn how later in the video the level itself is made up of what seems to be an endless cluster of bathrooms. The bathrooms themselves, well, they look like bathrooms, obviously. I don't know what you're expecting. They look like just public bathrooms that you've seen before in like a store or like a bathroom center. Y you know what they look like. Except these have a very lonely and empty feeling to them. Most of them have stalls and sinks and towel dispensers and that sort of thing as well. Just the regular old bathroom stuff. And all of the things in these rooms work like they normally should. You know, the paper towels come out, the water runs, everything works. And normally each of the bathrooms has two different exit doors in them. And these two doors have random chances to either lead to another bathroom room or they lead to a different level and they're the exit. However, those doors change and you can't really map out the level because the doors are different and the bathrooms are different as well. It's sort of just a randomized cluster. So there's no real way to see where you're going. Sorry. Some of the bathrooms also have windows in them that allow light to come inside. And on the outside of those windows, most people have reported seeing some pretty strange things to say the least. So in real life, when you look outside of a window, You'll see just a field or a road or whatever. But here on this level, people have said they've seen staticky blue skies with really weird clouds in them. Or they've simply just seen a white void and nothing else. That's pretty weird, and it also means that this level takes place inside of something else entirely, and it's not just confined to the bathrooms. There is stuff outside that you technically could explore, uh, you just can't get through the windows. But I probably wouldn't jump out a window into an endless white void. It's just me, though. The air and the ambience inside of these different bathrooms is actually pretty clean and fresh at the start. And actually, some people have reported uh, smelling a faint smell of air freshener, which is pretty nice. There's also a very, very faint and subtle sound of water flowing uh, that's constantly happening through the pipes and the ceiling and the toilets, which makes the level kind of have a chill vibe to it, again, at the start. And you'll understand why I'm saying at the start soon. But like I said, most of the bathrooms here just look like empty and lonely public restrooms, but there's actually a very rare type of bathroom that you might find if you're lucky. They've been given the name luxury bathrooms, and you'll know when you're there. They're pretty obvious. I mean, they're gold. They all have golden appliances and finishes and sinks and marble and everything. It just looks like a rich person's bathroom. There's also a chance for whole entire showers and bathtubs and jacuzzis to be inside of these specific luxury bathrooms as well, and all of them are gold and marble and everything like that. But the reason these types of bathrooms are so sought after is because instead of regular old water coming out of the drains, it's actually almond water here in these luxury bathrooms. So you could have a pretty big source of almond water if you're lucky enough to run into one of these bathrooms, and you could just fill up a bunch of bottles and leave. Or if you're not lucky, you're stuck with the regular almond water just in the other bathrooms. Now, from what I've explained so far, you're probably thinking, brutally, you titled this video, NEVER USE THE BATHROOMS IN THE BACKROOMS, and it seems pretty safe so far. Are you clickbaiting, Brugly? Uh, yeah, well, that's where you're wrong. I didn't do it for the clicks. I did it because a pretty unnerving phenomenon on this level is occurring. It's known as the, quote, increasing danger theory, and it goes like this. According to the information we have right now, the level is seemingly safe-ish for the first 50 or so bathrooms that you can get to. But after that, it's almost impossible to find an exit door to a different level. If you remember, I said that each bathroom has two doors. One might be an exit, and the other one will take you to the next bathroom. Yeah, well, eventually the exit door just doesn't exist and goes away. Explorers who have gone past the 50 room mark have said that they feel progressively less and less secure, and they feel more and more in danger, like they're being watched, like something's there. 
On top of these feelings, the rooms themselves even start to decay and to break down in certain ways, and they'll become more dangerous and more tumultuous to even explore. One specific explorer said that he made it through 200 bathrooms before he found an exit, which means he was literally there for a long time, a year maybe. He found that as he got stuck deeper and deeper into the maze of bathrooms, the air went from smelling nice and fresh to smelling foul and rotten, like a real bathroom. And the toilets, instead of being clean water, they started to fill up with a mysterious waste material. The lights also became dimmer, and the bathrooms got pretty much pitch black with no light, and mold grew from the walls, and pipes leaked and exploded, and everything like that just started to get worse and worse the deeper this guy got into it. And possibly the scariest thing the dude found was behind some of the doors. He said he heard weird entity noises happening back there, but obviously he didn't open the door because why would you open a door if you hear like a monster behind it? But there's also been reports of strange figures lurking in the shadows deeper into these bathrooms. It's unknown what they are and things like that. There's also some non-documented entities. And speaking of those creatures here, uh, you have to get past that 50-ish room mark to even see any, because up until then, it's pretty safe and there's not really any places for entities. But if you do get past that 50 room mark, you most likely run into smilers and hounds and facelings and the normal entities like that. But then like I said, there's also those weird noises that have been heard so who knows what kind of disgusting monstrosities live deep in the roof and in their stalls of these bathrooms one last really weird thing that was found deep into this level was a green door with no handle. When the explorer opened this door, he was greeted by an entity called Mark, and then Mark led the entity to an exit door, which took that person to level 4. Apparently, Mark lives behind this green door in a bathroom that is converted to like a mini house, and he seems to think this level is a good place to live. He tried to convince the other guy not to leave because this place has everything he needs. Who knows? <laughs> I, just another quirk of the bathrooms, I guess. To enter this level, you can go to a restroom on level 2, and you can open a door inside, or you can sit on a toilet in level 2 and spray air freshener in the air, and you'll be sent here. Now, you actually might want to come here to get almond water from a luxury bathroom if you're lucky enough to find one, but they are very rare. And like I said, you're also risking getting stuck and chased by weird eldritch entities deep into the bathroom, so I don't know if it's worth it or not. But to exit the level, you do have to get pretty lucky, and you have to go through a door that exits the level, and not one that takes you deeper in. Most of the time, the door just takes you back to level 2, but you could also find that Mark entity to be sent to level 4. Or you could be a poor, unfortunate soul that gets sent too deep into the bathrooms until they become entity-filled, dark, and corrupted, and you'll never be seen again. <laughs> Sounds like fun to me, though. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. If y'all want to join and be here before that milestone, make sure to drop a sub right now. Tell your friends, family, cats, dogs, fishes, everybody about the Brugley channel. The Brugley movement is absurd and insane. I love and appreciate all of you. Go check out my vlog channel in the description where I upload vlogs, obviously. And then my cryptic channel, SCP channel, Trevor Henderson channel, Spoogly in the description where I upload shorts and short videos explaining weird, cryptid, eldritch entities. It's pretty fun. The Brugley Empire is expanding, and of course, we're going to keep expanding, as always. If you want to be a part of this movement, so do my channels, do all that stuff. I'd love to have you. Thank you for everything, and I will see you in the next video. Peace and love.